Okay. Um, hi. This is my second World Guard tutorial. Today, uh, as promised last time, I'll be teaching you about region flags. This is um, basically what you want your what you want your region to do. So, what you want out of your region. So, for example, you want an area to have no PVP in that area. You can make it so a certain area can have PVP or a certain area doesn't have PVP. Um, you can also make it um, so that the region can turn off, say, um, chest access. So your users may be added to the region, but nobody nobody else outside of that region, like none of the members outside of the region would be allowed to use the chests so people wouldn't be allowed to use furnaces as this is classed as a storage um, so it could be classed as a chest in some form dispensers etc anything that's storage really um, I'll just log into the server so I can demonstrate all of this to you. Right, okay, so what we'll do here. Okay, so from last time we've still got we should still have. Yep, there you go, we've still got the region test one. Okay. And we can actually check out information about that. If we type region info test one. So that's region info and the name of the region that you previously created. Just hit enter. That shows you that basically it's uh, it's got no set parent, um, no flags, and the owners added at the beginning were myself and O12. So basically, me and O12 are considered the owners of the region. Okay. So now we want that region to, for example, disallow PVP. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll open another Minecraft client with a test account. Okay, okay and I'll just Teleport it here. So TP. Okay. So that's there. Now I'm just going to the region. I'm inside. This is just to demonstrate that PVP is on. Okay. So from the other, I'm just going to go into the region and just show you that I'm within that region. Houses within that region. Okay, or P4. Okay, and I should be able to attack now. Just like that. Okay, so that's just to show you you can kill in the area. Okay, okay, and this is P4 again. And I'll just go back, go back. Right, so now what we want to do is type region forward slash region then what you want to do is you're commanding it to be a flag so you're setting a flag here then you want basically the region name and then you want the flag example pvp mob spawning you can actually turn mob spawning off and then you want to put whether you want to allow or deny it. okay so that's just the basic set out there just let you have a quick look at that okay so enter to clear that and start again okay so you can type region flag and then it's going to be test one because that's the region that we've set here and then we want to turn PVP off, so we're typing PVP as a flag name, and then we just want to type deny. That'll deny it. If we wanted to, for in the future, allow it in this area, we type allow instead of deny. It may seem simple, but some of you may not 
figured that out straight away, so just to let you know. Okay, and then you just hit enter. Okay, that should now be done. Just to test that. Now, here we go. You are in a no PvP area. Okay, so that's um, just the basics of how to turn PvP off. Sometimes it might be set in the default files. This is to do with your server side, really. And if you look at your config, you look at the files for this, you might be able to find like default flags and their preset flags basically they might already have chest access is false which means nobody can access it so as soon as you create a region using the first tutorial video I created um, chest access will actually be off um, you might find it's the same with PvP is false uh, in that case PvP is always off but if, in case you're wondering why is my PvP always off why can I never fights when I create a region I just want it to be on all the time and um, that's something you need to do server side and edit some of the configs etc anyway um, back to the more practical side using commands in game okay so we don't want mob spawning for example um, it's as simple as region flag region name and then mob dash spawning dinner. enter there you go that's that so then basically just a handy little thing that I found myself probably it mentions it somewhere else but um, if you just type like region flag mob spawning oh sorry region flag and then the region name say so test one again and then just type mob spawning don't actually put deny or allow me and just just hit enter like that. You can eat in fact just for speed really you want to use the shortest one you can find and I think it's probably PvP. So just use PvP. Okay, and if you hit enter. Okay, that's changed. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that actually clears the flag. Um no, so I'll just set that again. So Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how to view all the region flags. You used to be able to just view them all, but it seems you can't. There you go. Just type something like flag. It's unknown, so then it brings up all the available ones. Um, so basically, you've got like pass through, um, so people can pass through, build rights, mob damage creeper explosion some of them are fairly self explanatory I'm sure with the ones uh, other than like say PvP or TNT you're allowing TNT to be used you're disallowing it to be used and um, they're, they're easy enough to figure out with the others if you just go on to Google and literally search for something like world guard um, world guard flags pass through or something like that. It'll tell you more in depth detail about it. Maybe not a whole lot of detail, but it'll tell you more than I can tell you about them. Um, yeah, so that's just once again region, flag, and just the name of a region you've already created, and then just type flag. I suppose you could even just type F, and then that'll bring up all the available flags. Okay, and that's uh, the end of tutorial number two, uh, which was region flags. On my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set a parent for a region. This is basically used for towns. Say you've got a, a town and you want to give out plots within that region, but you don't want your members to have access to the rest of the town. Um, I'll probably also cover how to add and remove members that's just a quick quick simple step um, and then basically if you forget to add a member or you don't want them to be an owner of the region then you can you can add them separately that way at a later stage or whatever anyway that's that's all this time guys thank you thank you for watching goodbye